Hi, my name is Kathy Castley. I'm the CEO of Creative Commons. Um, and I am delighted to be here in Doha. This is an incredibly exciting time for Creative Commons. We're celebrating our 10th birthday, and we've had this amazing journey over the past 10 years when it was just an idea that somehow we could begin to share things easily through the internet and that we could actually make it easy for people to reuse and repurpose and remix content and materials. And the musicians and bloggers and artists were very much the early take up in this new movement and as we've moved uh, to other areas as well as education we now have these great opportunities that we couldn't have even anticipated 10 years ago. So right now in its 10th birthday Creative Commons is celebrating birthdays around uh, parties around the globe. Uh, there's 25 um, events in the next 10 days uh, including every continent. We have Antarctica participating as well and this is really just a incredible time. So I'm delighted to be here in Doha. I'm delighted to be here supported uh, by the ICT Cutter um, and I'm glad to be here to really help broaden the name of Creative Commons and begin to let not only the very vocal advocates who support us in our work but also begin to uh, demonstrate and to teach, to teach to others what the value of openness and open licensing can do and what it can do for the world in general, not only for individuals and organizations but also part of the global commons. So as I uh, was saying, I'm delighted to be here in Doha. There's a big event tomorrow night to celebrate the 10th birthday and I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting with the community and all the um, of CC affiliates here in Doha. Uh, part of the, the journey of Creative Commons is a global journey and part of our strength certainly comes from not only our headquarters office and our incredible staff that we have back uh, in Mount View in Silicon Valley, but really it's the global reach that's critically important. And it's our regional coordinators and it's our local affiliates who really bring the work of Creative Commons to life and really feed the information about what's needed to support the local work as well. So as we kind of move into this next decade for Creative Commons, what's really exciting is the opportunity to remix the opportunity to really move from just content creation to really bringing all different types of content together in this remixed world. And I think uh, making that easy and making the content shareable and making the license of cre Creative Commons easily tagged and the attribution to the original creator uh, just very visible is all very important as we move to this next decade as well. Um, with that too, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the values of openness and the values of open licensing that we know exist um, and have been demonstrated. And so it's both kind of the economic value of and the economic benefit of sharing. It's the creativity that spurs on because of sharing and the innovation that happens. Um, and there's really just the knowledge creation that is so, so important. We've begun to be able to document some of the values of openness and creative commons. And because the work that we do is very much on the edge, and we're very much kind of in this new innovation space, it's kind of a difficult space to, in some ways, make it very concrete. But certainly in education, what we know is that we don't need to continually start from scratch. So if we have materials from whatever region of the world, um, and in that region, as they begin to create other content and materials, we don't always need to go back to the beginning, but we can build on and improve those materials over time. And that becomes really important as we think about the open ecosystem, as we think about adding games that kids love to embrace, as we add um, assessments and data that might be added to the learning platforms as well. So just as an example, uh, in the textbook world, we know that textbooks can be very, very expensive. Curriculum materials can be very expensive. And we've begun able to demonstrate really that the materials that carry a Creative Commons license cost about 1 20th of what the cost would be if you were actually able, uh, required to print the textbook under traditional mechanisms. So that's one of the values that we've been, certainly been able to show. And as we move forward and think about innovation and the innovation platforms, there's new competitive um, indexes, there's no ind ind indices around uh, contribution to the global commons, and Creative Commons is actually being called out as an early example of the knowledge contribution. So I think all of us can be very happy and proud of what we've been developing Developing. And as we think ahead and as we continue to build this movement, this really kind of concrete um, uh, grasp of what it means to contribute to the commons and the value is very, very important.